Okay, on the Chalupa lovers, welcome to this player go test route. Telling got Buba Kamara, the 18 year old center back. He's just a 72 overall. So he's 5'10, right footed with medium, medium work rates, two star skin moves, and three star weak foot. Obviously, quite short uh, for a center back. And not the best with his weight either, but he at least he has 72 strength, which is not too bad. Then physically, 70 acceleration and sprint speed, 56 agility, 69 balance, nice, 67 jumping, and 76 stamina. Like, definitely be a very good option as a center def defensive, and also as it is less listed as his secondary position. He has 76 aggression, 68 interception, 67 reactions, 62 vision, and 54 composure. And tactically, 73 ball control, 58 crossing, 62 dribbling, 6 68 heading accuracy and 75 long pass, then 68 marking, 63 penalty, 74 short pass, 72 slide tackle, and 74 stand tackle. So pretty good tactically, very nice passing ability, marking, tackling, ball control looking very good. So from right away, it could be a pretty good option as a center defense mid for you if you're worried a bit about his height as a center back and all that. So a good improvement to the sprint speed right away in that first season, a plus nine there. Jumping up by three, then a plus one to his acceleration, balance, stamina, composure, reactions, and vision. Now, technically, ball control up by six, dribbling up by two, heading accuracy up by five points, a plus three in the marking in the slide tackle, short pass up by five, and a plus four to his stand tackle. Now, at the end of the second season, uh, a plus two is overall there. The sprint speed up by four points, a plus one the agility balance, strength up by two, jumping up by three points there. So some good improvements physically. We'd like to see some more, gro more growth mentally though those interceptions still being only 68 for 77 overall should be a bit higher in my opinion at the least but technically ball control up by six a plus two the crossing dribbling hitting accuracy up by three then uh plus four the marking and then these, these uh stand tackle slide tackle a few other attributes also growing there so now up to the 87 sprint speed a plus four he's been growing so much in that sprint speed in just a few seasons pretty ridiculous growth honestly uh to that attribute as it looks like it's probably on pace to max out at the moment now technically ball control long pass up by point any accuracy improving by three a plus three the short pass and the slide tackle stand tackle up by two and a plus three to his marking so looking pretty good with some of those improvements he was getting so far uh physically and tactically mentally at least we'll get some improvement in the interceptions this season this season with a plus two there physically jumping sprint speed and strength all improving by two points and it's kind of weird to see the acceleration sprint speed so unbalanced and i wish uh, they were actually more balanced in their growth as it does look a bit strange in my opinion. Now technically, ball control improving by 3 points along with the short pass and slide tackle and a plus 2 to his marking here. So now up to 83 overall at age 23. Actually not too far away from his potential now as he's getting more improvements to that sprint speed up by 4 to the 93. Strength up by 3 points, a plus 5 to the jumping, balance up by 2, and a plus 1 to his interceptions and reactions. Technically, the ball control all the way up to the 96. Definitely looks like it's going to hit the 99 mark at the moment. Short pass at the 92 also, so some really good passing ability he has on him, which kind of repeats you know, what I was saying before. I think he'd be really good options as a center defense mid. I think you should think about playing him there uh, if you're worried about that height. Uh, but he'll at least give you some versatility you know, being able to play in both those positions. So he's now maxed out in that sprint speed and technically maxed out in the ball control, hitting the 99 mark there. A 96 short pass, so it looks like he has a few, uh, you know, potent points away from hitting his potential. So by the time he hits his potential, which he now does at 88 overall, at age 26, it looks like he'll be maxing out in that short pass also. So two, plus, again, uh, the two-star skill moves and three-star weak foots and physically ends up with some really good sprint speed, obviously having 99 sprint speed, 73 acceleration, 58 agility, 74 balance, 89 jumping, 79 stamina, and 82 strength and mentally 85 aggression 76 interceptions 77 reactions and 65 vision so mentally not too bad the interceptions i do wish that was higher tactically 99 ball control 68 crossing 65 curve and 68 dribbling 93 heading accuracy 80 long pass 84 marking 69 penalties nice 99 short pass 62 shot power 90 slide tackle and 89 stand tackle so max down the ball control short pass and sprint speed uh, just some ridiculous growth that again I think needs to be kind of fixed up a bit next FIFA more growth and interceptions please less to sprint speed uh, you know ball control short pass but uh, he's five foot ten right foot with midi medium work rates again three star weak foots and two star skimmos and ends up with the aerial threats along with the tackling specialties on him so 
Uh, pretty good in the air and obviously some really good defensive attributes in general as the jumping did grow a lot which helps out because again he's not the tallest so I think having that high jumping can help offset that so the crossing did grow by 10 points over the years a plus 25 the heading accuracy in the short pass dribbling up by 6 curve up by 13 a plus 8 to the free kick accuracy long pass up by 5 and a plus 26 to his ball control acceleration grew by 3 sprint speed up by 29 reactions up by 10 and balance up by 5 and the jumping grew by 22 points a plus 10 to his strength stand up by three and long shots up by eight now mentally aggression grew by nine interceptions up by eight positioning up by four vision up by three penalties up by six and composure up by four points then defensively a plus 16 to his marking stand tackle while the slide tackle grew by 17 and of course 88 as a center back 86 as a fullback 85 as a wing back and 86 as a center defense mid so you can play center back fullback wing back and center defense mid at very high levels i think if you're worried about the heights you could slot him as a, in that defensive mid role he'll be very effective there could also play out wide for you as a fullback or wing back and be very good in those in those spots also so it gives you some nice options as a versatile defensive player whether it be center back fullback wing back or center defense mid so a really nice option obviously in career mode pretty young player with high potential i definitely think you should take a look at him my beautiful chalupa lovers obviously ends up with some ridiculous growth to his uh, sprint speed and uh jumping also then technically hitting actually short pass ball control grew a lot but turns out to be a very good solid defender really good tactically from the start with his passing ability and ball control uh but even better with some of the op growth that happens for center backs in th those attributes without training so a big re recommendation here, my beautiful Chalupa lovers, for all of you looking for a good young center back for your career mode and you don't mind him being a bit on the shorter end. Maybe if you're using a three back, I think he could be re really good uh, as the middle center back is kind of more of a sweeper. Something could be a good idea or again as a center defense mid. So with that, my beautiful Chalupa lovers, thank you all for tuning in. I love you. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later.